let's do something really interesting together. Let's try to edit uh, the default Procreate watercolor brush. So it looks a little bit more like watercolor. So when I started using this default brush, it was kind of, there's something odd about it. It doesn't really feel like real actual watercolor. So I, I was playing around with the settings a little bit and came up with this. It's the same brush, just, um, just a little bit modified. And right now it actually feels uh, more like real watercolor than before. So I'm going to really quickly show you what to do and which settings to change. So the first thing you want to do is to duplicate the original brush. You don't want to lose it. And all the edits are going to be made in the, in the duplicate. So first we're going to take uh, the taper. Um, stabilization and stroke path will be the same and um, turn the size up to the maximum. Next go to the shape and you can choose from a variety of shapes. Just go to the source library, um, sc scroll through them and just look for, look for this water bleed. Click done. And all I'm gonna do here is click now filtering and head over to the grain. We will do the same thing, just go through the grain source and um, find a good looking texture like this one and click done. Now here we will have some more changes. Just um, repeat after me and I'm not gonna really dive into what this all means or anything like that. Just um, to repeat what I'm doing here. Everything on the rendering stays the same. You can reduce the pull a little bit. Color dynamics also stays the same, also dynamics. But underneath Apple Pencil, um, turn the opacity to the maximum and also flow to zero. So we don't need bleed. And under properties, everything looks fine. Just turn on orient to screen and we are done. Now you have a completely new brush and try it out. So did you try it? Did you like it? Um, is it better or is it worse now? Um, let me know in the comments. Thank you.